How do you make money doing business online? Maybe smart devices have the answer. Well, Assistant Professor of Marketing Andrew Stephen here at NCAD thinks that he has the answer, and you have a get grant from Google and WPP to look at consumer responses to mobile location-based advertising. What does that actually mean? Mobile location-based advertising is basically the, a general term that could be applied to any sort of advertising or marketing communications or promotions that could be delivered to someone on a, on a mobile device, say a smartphone like an iPhone or a Blackberry or a Android device, or it could even be as simple as you know an SMS to an old, old style uh, mobile phone. But the idea is that it's delivering some kind of marketing message to people on their phones, probably when they're out and about going about their daily lives. What's happening now is companies are starting to see opportunities lying in developing the technology to turn that around and, and serve the information to customers who they think might find it useful at a given point in time. Why is WPP and Google, why are they underwriting this research? So Google and WPP uh, started uh, last year running uh, what they call the Google WPP Marketing Research Awards. And so basically what they do is they have a list of, a fairly long list of uh, research questions that either Google or WPP or both would find interesting that they want marketing academics, marketing researchers, uh, so people like me in business schools around the world, uh, want them to look at. What happened with myself and, and two NCI colleagues, Miklos Savari and Yakov Bart, who are both um, you know, marketing uh, uh, professors here, um, basically we put in a proposal um, and we were one of the, I think, 11 uh, research teams around the world to be given some money to sort of study how to do mobile marketing and location-based advertising right. So who do you target? When do you target them? Uh, what type of consumer does it work with? What type of consumer doesn't it work with? And then what are the types of messages or sort of what's the content that will resonate and kind of get people to go visit a store, for example? So whom are you going to target and how are you going to do it? What we're planning uh, at the moment is uh, sort of a, a large-scale experiment. Um, which will be done in sort of two phases. The, the first phase will actually be using a um, sort of a virtual world, Second Life, which, which in SEAD is, is quite uh, enthusiastic about using for various uh, things, um, where we're, we're at the moment we're in the process of, of building a shopping mall. And, and what we'll do is we'll go and do what we would normally do when we do experiments, is recruit uh, research participants in our lab. We'll have them go into the lab. They'll, they'll sit in front of a computer screen and they'll be an avatar in this, this Second Life uh, shopping mall, and they'll be carrying around a, a mobile device, like an iPhone or an iPad, that sort of device. And as they walk around the shopping mall, which will actually have real, real stores in it where they can buy things, um, they'll start to receive ads on this device that will pop up on their screen and try and encourage them to do certain things. And so um, basically with that, it, it gives us sort of a a very, very perfectly controlled environment where we can use real people, not sort of people who are just out there in, in a virtual world who we don't know anything about. So an example of an ad might be, uh, suppose in our shopping mall there's an H&M and there's a Zara store. And let's suppose this person's walking to the H&M store. Uh, one type of mobile advertising, which is called sniping, would be that uh, they, as, as they're about to enter the H&M store, their, their device, uh, you know, uh, uh, makes a noise and, and they get an ad for Zara saying, hey, if you want to come to Zara, show this coupon, we'll give you whatever, 20% off your purchase as they're walking into H&M. Now, a different approach would be um, as they're walking into H&M for H&M to serve them that ad. So that would be phase one. Phase two is to take this into the real world um, and, and take it out into um, a real shopping mall, for example, um, or sort of a real sort of shopping, shopping area. And for that, we're, we're at the moment talking to some uh, some companies that work with WPP and work with Google to, to start to develop this field test. But really the, the goal is to understand what works with mobile advertising, what doesn't work. Theoretically, um, sort of looking under the hood of the consumer, psychologically we're really trying to understand what incentives work. Will you be looking at privacy issues with all of this? A big issue with this is privacy. Uh, so at the moment, I mean the model in sort of the in terms of the technology companies that do mobile advertising or the telcos who do advertising, is it's an opt-in model. So you know, if, if I'm willing to have the app on my iPhone and willing to say yes, you can you can know my location uh, from GPS, then I've opted in and, and I'm I'm giving up my rights to privacy. Now, 
that's not you know the end of the story because then it depends on how the companies like Google for example would, would use this data um, if I can be identified so that that's a big issue for us it's not a primary research question but of course in doing this sort of research we need to take into account uh, the privacy issue and from our perspective uh, what we suspect is if if the consumer feels like their privacy is being invaded even though they've opted in if they feel like maybe a line is being crossed then you'll have a backlash. So there's always this balance of okay they're getting some value out of it but and it's useful but then they're giving up some of their privacy and working out what's the right uh, balance of those two sort of opposing forces is, is obviously an important uh, component of, of what we're going to be looking at. When's your target finish date? When do you expect to have results? We'll have some preliminary results by the end of the year. Um, you know, but this is an ongoing sort of research program. It's, it's, um, there's this part that, that we're working on with Google and WPP, but we're also uh, talking with some other companies who are doing really interesting things with uh, location-based uh, services and location-based advertising. So what's interesting about where the, the technology is going is online social networking is now coming offline. So it's really merging what you know, you're know you doing online, you've got your friends online on Facebook or whatever else, but then it's, it's bringing the interactions into sort of the offline world in places that people go to, bars, restaurants, cafes, stores. Um, INSEAD, you could you know, check into INSEAD for example. Um, and so that's kind of an interesting trend. It's sort of moving away from this virtual world to back to sort of bridging it with the, the real world. But you do your prep work in the virtual world and then you interact with better prepared in the real world. Exactly, or it sort of augments reality. So, you know, I could be in a certain location, but I can know who else is in that location. And maybe I wouldn't have known that uh, previously. So that's another sort of trend is what they're calling augmented reality, which is sort of also in this sort of merging the online and offline worlds. I look forward to keeping up with all of this. It sounds really fascinating. Thank you very much, Andrew Stevens, for being pleasure. with us. Thank you.